This is going to be my quickest video ever. I just wanted to quickly show you how to install the airspeed sensor on the ArduPilot Mega 2.6 which is actually one from 3D Robotics and I'll get a little closer view of that soon cost me about twenty eight dollars so here is the airspeed sensor and uh, I've already soldered on the three little pins that came with the kit and connected the tubes and the one thing you have to remember is the tube that's connected to this slanted pipe here goes on the bottom of the airspeed sensor on the bottom port down here and the other one goes on the top port. The airspeed sensor comes with a simple servo wire connector and that just plugs on the three pins that you solder on and the other side and I hope you can see this this is the important part it goes to analog port zero which is right over here it's like the set of pins that run along the top here of the Ardu pilot. The one on the far left, those three pins are where you plug it on, so it's analog port zero. And the white wire goes towards the inside, that's the signal. Uh, and the five volts is in the middle, and the black wire, which you may not be able to see, is on the outside, that's the ground. So that's all there is to connecting it. And I've got it right here. I haven't decided where I'm going to mount it. It'll probably be somewhere up in the front. I think it has to stick out about three centimeters. Okay, so now the next phase is just to bring up the mission planner. Then I'm going to connect using my telemetry radios on the Mavlink right here. Okay, connecting now. Bad GPS health. Okay, so I don't have a GPS lock or anything, but that's not important. So the first thing I want to do is just go to uh, Initial Setup and go to Optional Hardware. I'm trying to hold the camera and show you this, so it might be a little shaky. Okay, Optional Hardware, go down to Airspeed Sensor, and there it is. And you can see it's already checked, so the Arduino Pilot already knows it's connected. So that's really all you have to do. And if you want to see if it's working, oh, one more thing. If you check this use airspeed, then it will use the airspeed in its calculations for the, for the mission or whatever you're doing. So uh, I'm just going to leave mine off. I just want to see it on my OSD. And now I'm going to go to the flight data. And I think you can see right here the airspeed. And the airspeed will jump around, you know, one, two to three down here sometimes. Uh, that's, that's pretty common when it's first installed. You'll see that. So that's no, no shock. And uh, if you want to check to see if it's actually working, I've got this little rubber ball, this little squeegee, and uh, came with an earwax remover kit. Anyway, you just blow that on the tip of it like that and when you come over here you can see what it's doing usually it'll jump up to around 15 or something like that and then you'll know it's working so that's basically all there is to it uh, I had read some instructions on it on the internet and it seemed fairly simple which it is but you know I have my reservations on anything I'm doing so I thought maybe some other people would too, so I just wanted to show you just exactly how easy it was. So that's it for now. We'll see you later.